I am Nancy Hagee and I live out in uh, rural uh, south of Columbus, Nebraska. Uh, I lived in Columbus and now have moved out into the country and I'm very excited to try these bunks for gardening. I've gardened all my life but the bunks are going to allow me to continue gardening with them being elevated. Uh, I plan to try to plant everything in them that I plant in a normal flat garden. The height is perfect for me. I use just basic simple hand tools. We filled them up with a compost and then put some sandy loam dirt on top of the compost. It's very easy to work. I have right now planted different uh, rows in the same bunk. I have one bunk that has spinach and lettuce in it in two separate rows. Another bunk over here that's going to be a tomato plant and cucumbers in the same bunk. The other one will be sugar peas uh, planted in that in one single row down the middle and I'm hoping to plant two more vegetables on the side of that single row. Over in my regular garden over here we've always had the paneling made out of the uh, panelings for hog, hog panelings and whatever are straight up and down and so this bunk right over here, instead of having the angled feeder, we decided to cut the supports in half and put just a single panel that goes straight up the middle. And therefore, I'll just plant one particular vegetable that will cling onto that panel. And we're looking at the fact of now having room to plant two more rows on the outside of that of something else that'll be a lower crop and it's going to be fabulous for picking uh, off of both sides if you need to. You can walk right around it and pick easily without bending over uh, both sides of that panel. I highly recommend them. I, I'm experimenting with them right now what all can be planted and what depth of root structure plants will actually exist in them. I'm also going to experiment with a soak system on watering them but as far as with people wanting to plant more gardens, I can see this being coming very substantial for anybody and everybody, uh, older people to continue gardening. Uh, young people in a smaller yard can definitely enlarge their garden space or not even disrupt their yard and make this their garden space on top of their regular grass yard.